Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Romine and today's video is about XPeng and how it is about to go parabolic. Yesterday the stock jumped 22% on news that it had secured a 2 billion credit line from state-owned Chinese banks. If you bought when I gave you the trade alert yesterday, you were sitting on a 4% profit in 2 hours and if you didn't buy yet, I'll give you some guidance and a trading plan so you can get in on the profits too. This is another home run play in the making that was bought straight off of the daily hot stocks list. And if I've helped you out in any way, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Yesterday my high growth Roth IRA portfolio was up another $1,841 to $118,809. With a little luck, I will double this portfolio in five months and I'm taking it from $66,000 to $2.6 million tax-free dollars and I hope you join me for the ride. The results speak for themselves. If you are new to my channel, check out my Patreon where we have daily hot stock picks, trade alerts, growth portfolios, thousands of people talking stocks and helping each other, and you get the beast mode spreadsheets to make stock picking easy. Here are two quick success stories. RC said, Jerry Roman, I got in Patreon this Monday, picked Etsy from the hot stocks list and I am up 16% in two days. Thank you so much. And Buckman said, I just signed up for Jerry's Patreon last week, bought Etsy, Neo, BYDDY, and ARKG. Up 10% overall. Thank you, Jerry. Learning a lot and love the community here. And I want to stress that on my channel, I always share fundamental data and technical analysis so you understand why I'm buying the stock. If anybody ever tells you to buy a stock and they cannot support it with anything other than hype, run as fast as you can. All right, grab a cup of coffee and hang on because I'm about to show you how and why X-Bank could explode over the next year. To understand the XPeng play, we've got to look at NEO. NEO gets a $1.4 billion bailout from the Chinese government. Stock price on June 5th, 2020 was $5.59. The current price is $62.04. That represents a 1,010% gain. And I want you to look at this chart down here because this is whenever NEO got the $1.4 billion bailout from the Chinese government. Before that, the stock was flat and struggling. And then look what happened afterwards. NEO went up and then up even more. And then it's been on a real tear since. A few things we want to point out. First, the blue line is the 20-day moving average, the red is the 50-day moving average, and the white is the 200-day moving average. And whenever we've got a good upwards channel, we're going to see what I call railroad tracks, which is the distance between the blue line and the red line. This signifies a strong upward trend. And the other thing I want to point out is too much too fast. When a stock takes off, it goes too much too fast, and then it always comes back down to that 20-day moving average. It went a little while, too much too fast, came back, and you're going to see that that pattern repeating itself over and over again. And here we've got the most recent one, too much too fast. And just like before, it's going to come back and this cycle is going to repeat. So this is what happened with NEO. They picked up $1.4 billion from the Chinese government. Their money problems were pretty much solved and boom, the stock took off. Before that, it was struggling. On January 12th, XPeng, which is ticker XPEV, secures $2 billion credit line from state-owned banks. Stock closing price is $54.30 and it was up over 22% on the day. Get ready for a huge bull run. Here we can see that XPeng was going sideways for a little bit, took off a little bit, came back to earth, and now this is the day where they picked up the $2 billion loan. Now remember, NEO picked up $1.4 billion and we saw what they did, and this moon was confirmed on high volume. Get ready for this stock to rock and roll. To understand the move that I expect in XPeng, we need to understand what happened with NEO. And this is from yesterday. So yesterday, NEO had a price of 62.70. We can look at the charts. We can see everything that happened. And you can see I'm pretty heavy into NEO. I've got over 1,000 shares. Um, I love the stock. I think it's going a lot of places. And still, nothing has changed from my belief on NEO. But what I do want to show you here is the return over one year has been 1,686%, which is insane. I just showed you two slides ago that NEO took off after it got that one. $1.4 billion credit line from the Chinese government. And what I want to point out here is the revenue growth last year for NEO was 48.2% and the revenue growth forecast this year for NEO is 105.6%. Now let's take a look at XPeng. The current price for XPeng is $54.30. Their 52-week price range is $17 to $74 and their PE ratio is negative 49.4. The year-to-date gain is 27%, 32% over one week, over one month, 23%, three months, 176%, 
it and they haven't been around for a year yet, so we don't have anything there. Their tattle ratio is very strong at 3.45, and this is what I really want to key in on. Their revenue growth is 136.7%. Remember, the revenue growth for NEO is 105.6%. So XPeng has a higher revenue growth than NEO, and that's really important. And then we can see their levered free cash flow is negative 52.2%. That's definitely normal for a growth stock. No reason for concern there. And that's why they've got the $2 billion credit line so they can have the money to expand and do what they need to do. Now, if we come over here, we can look at their charts. They were flat, run up, came back down. They're still in an upward channel and then they got that $2 billion credit line and they are now off to the races. We can see the current price is $54.30 and yesterday I picked up 100 shares whenever the stock was up 18%, which is not the norm for me, but I know what this stock is going to do. And I picked those shares up at $52.28 and now the stock is up to $54.30 and we'll see where it goes today. And we can look at the MACD down here and you can see it just had a crossover and this is a really good buying sign. Plus I have have other indicators that I look at and use, and those are looking extremely strong as well. So I'm very, very excited about this stock, and I plan on picking up more as the stock continues to go up. Let's go over a trading plan for XPeng. First, from a technical standpoint, XPeng is set up for a nice run. The PMC and MACD indicators are giving strong buy signals and yesterday's high volume is a confirmation that the $2 billion credit line is a major catalyst that I expect will move this stock and put it on a major bull run. If you bought on my trade alert yesterday, then you want to look to add to your position whenever you see an optimal buying point and there may not be money if the stock runs hard. I know XPeng was up 22% yesterday and we will have to see how the market reacts over the next week. If you are looking to get into the stock, you have three options. First, the high risk option. Buy soon and take a small position in XPeng and when you have confirmation that the stock is moving up, consider adding to your position. The $2 billion credit line is a major catalyst and this is not my normal play, but we can see what happened to NEO when they received 1.4 billion in credit. XPeng received 2 billion and they are one step ahead of NEO for selling in the European markets. Second, the optimal entry point will be to buy XPeng on a pullback to the 20 day moving average and confirmation of the stock moving up. Third, the next best entry point will be to wait for any dip and then buy when the stock stock starts going back up. I see this as a deja vu play with XPeng being where NEO was seven months ago, and we all know NEO went on a 1,010% bull run since then. Will XPeng do the same? It could happen. I'm very conservative in my price predictions, and my 2021 price prediction for XPeng is $100, and it is possible it flies past that number in the near future. Just remember, this is a higher risk play, and you always want to do your own research because stocks can go down in value. For the long term, I feel really good about XPeng, but be prepared for some volatility and growing pains. Our question of the day is, I feel like the stock has already gone up too much and I missed the opportunity. Is it too late to buy it now? Investing can be simplified to finding a train going to where you want to go and buying a ticket. I see XPeng as a train going where I want to go, which is why I jumped on board yesterday. I bought when the stock was up 18% and I was still up over 4% in less than two hours and I think this train is a long way from its destination. How high will the price go? Well, we know what happened with NEO and XPeng has an even better revenue growth forecast. First and foremost, you want to do your own diligence and only invest when you are comfortable. Never follow some guy on the internet without doing your own research. After you do that research, if you are still not confident in taking a larger position, consider buying just one share for the experience, then watch, learn, and study everything you can about XPeng so you can become a better investor. When you invest in a company, your mindset changes and you will learn more when you have some skin in the game. Just make sure that you tune into my videos every day so you can get my top stock picks and updates while learning fundamental and technical analysis. Thanks for hanging out with me and be sure to take advantage of the free Webull Stocks offer and check out my Patreon where we have daily hot stock picks, trade alerts, shared high growth portfolios, and thousands of people talking stocks and helping each other in our community every single day. And to close, here are a few pictures from Dottie's Gorge in Morocco. If you've never been to Morocco, consider going and exploring the country by car because there is so much to see. Peace and I'll see you later.